There should not be fights in our schools. There should not be any violence in our schools at all. The head of the Pittsburgh Teachers Union sending a message after an attack that sent a Brashear student to the hospital. Yesterday, police announced criminal charges against the other student involved. And today, KDK learned the principal at Brashear has been placed on leave. We're taking a look at youth violence in the city tonight. Chris Hoffman is outside Brashear High School with what the Teachers Union wants to change. Chris. Ken, the teachers union says there is money the district could be using to try to prevent situations like this. And she also goes on to say teachers are not police officers. They're not security guards and they should not be taking on those roles. This disturbing video shows the brutal attack against a 17 year old boy on Friday in the halls of Brashear High School. We have to make sure these occurrences are not happening to anyone. It, it shouldn't happen. The Pittsburgh Federation of Teachers president Nina Esposito Viscaitis says we are seeing the violence from the street pour into the hallways. It's very difficult to um, put into words how hard it is to put something else on the teacher's plate when they work so very hard. Today, Pittsburgh Public says Principal Kimberly Safran will be on, quote, non-disciplinary paid administrative leave while the district reviews the fight from Friday. Esposito Vizcaitis would not comment on the district's decision. She says the teachers tell her some of the fights are happening in schools because students know someone will stop it. Because they know they are surrounded by people who care about them, who are watching them very closely. It's a tight-knit community, and they know it will be stopped. The union president says the district is sitting on upwards of 100 million federal COVID dollars, but has not done anything with them since recommendation meetings in the fall. She feels some of that money could be used to prevent these incidents. Uh, we have to uh, provide the schools with the things that have been promised, including more resiliency, supports for our students and staff. But Esposito Viscaitis says this is a problem everyone must help with. The district and the teachers can only do so much. But it takes more than the school district. The community also has to be involved. Now off camera, parents are becoming nervous to send their children to school. One mother says she crosses her fingers every time she sends her kid to get on the bus. Now, our request for comments from the school board were left unanswered today. We did hear from the victim's family. They say he is out of the hospital, but he is having some complications after that brutal assault inside Brashear High School. Live outside Brashear High School, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.